fucking get my door put? Put the fucking door in. How you doing, troops? It's me again. Eh, uh, Ian Blake McDonald's. I don't think he's the only the introduction. I, this is, I think this is only my third podcast. I hope he's all watching out there, by the way. This is all real stories. So, I'm going to get back to my youth. Eh, uh, it was about 1920, and uh, I used to two of my friends, I says, look, we were up to school duggery anyway, we were doing jewellers and all that, so to put you in the picture, my mother had met a guy who was a black taxi driver, so she was going to him for a year, so <laughs> every, every, every Saturday night, <laughs> they loved they love the whiskey, you know what I mean, God bless my man, she's dead now, you know what I mean, but a good life. So, I says to my two pals, I says, listen, how do you fancy going to the city centre next week? We'll do a smash and grab. Get all the designer gear at the time. And he says, and how are we doing that? I says, I'm stealing James's taxi. They knew who James was. They went, you're stealing his taxi. And how are you going to manage that? I says, well, the two of them fucking steaming. Be fucking off 12. I'll just take the fucking keys. I'm 19, youngest taxi driver. So I went round. Two boys. One of them's called H, and the other one's Paul. I can't even, I'll not say Paul's second name. I think everybody will know who Paul is, okay? So the day, the, the day was set, and I run Paul's house. And uh, I fucking, I, I fucking stole the fucking keys, all right? It was steaming, you know what I mean? I think I bought them. A, I think I bought them an extra quarter bottle of whiskey <laughs> to, see, to get them even more fucking drunk so that they don't wake up. So uh, I put in sign up, baby. Oh, they were fucking amazed. I said, "Jump in, lads." I says, "Right." We'd already picked something out anyway. This was way back in 1981, so we still had designer stuff then, but no, as good as then. So the plan was. The two of them, they were sledgehammering the window. I was in the corner. As soon as I'd done it, I, I was driving round and away. So we'd done it. We, 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 we never done it loads of times. We'd done it uh, three times. And uh, the second time, actually, we'd done it. And we were driving through the city centre. And the police must have got a call. The blue lights were going. And I went, duck. To H and Paul, you know what I mean? I'm fucking like that. So they were right by. So I got away with that. So the third time we'd done it, uh, James ended up saying to my mother, he went, fucking Diesel's in the lot, so has the last few weeks. So when we'd been 19, obviously I can't go up to the Boomfield garage where we stayed stayed and say, look, fucking pull that up. Uh, so the taxi scam came to an end after after three goes. But it was good. You know I mean, good. Who, who gets the chance to steal a black cat taxi? <laughs> so that, that, that's it. I thought I would just tell you that wee story. But by the way, we were fashionable kids then. No, I mean we were going to Ultra Tech and all that. Fucking all this stuff stolen, and uh, so so that was good. And I'll I'll just I'll just end the story because it's a short story, you know what I mean? It just came to my head there. So if you like this story, subscribe to the channel. And what I always say is, blink. <laughs>